Hi everyone, welcome to today's extremely exciting video. I have a plant haul for you guys. I feel like I haven't filmed a plant haul in so extremely long and that's because I haven't really been buying plants. So I went in a little dip, a little dip of buying plants and just taking care of my plants in general. But recently my plants have been thriving and I'm like, I want more plants also. So I did go pretty crazy, honestly. I, When I gathered them all together, I was like, wow, I didn't know it was this many plants. Um, but first, I wanna start with it, an unboxing. It's not really like an unboxing because it's just this little, this little package right here that I already started opening. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a gift that I bought for someone else and just started opening on camera. Anyways, so I bought a Stefania Erecta and it's here. We're going to see how it looks. I am so excited. I've been wanting a Stefania Erecta for so long and what I settled on was my um, elephant types plant and I love that plant. It is gorgeous. Right now it's, I think in the winter time is when they're like is their growing season so it's thriving right now and i just went ahead and bought a little stefania erecta so here it is i love that the top is labeled because i know i would have been confused on which way to keep it but <laughs> i know it just looks like a little potato but when it grows out it's gonna have these really gorgeous umbrella leaves and i'm so excited to have it um it's also really exciting that I'm gonna get to witness the first sprouts on this baby. It's so cute, even just looking like a potato. Like if I left this in the kitchen, someone might accidentally cut it open. So I'm not gonna do that, but oh, I love it. And this was $43 originally for this size. This is a medium, but I bought it on either Black Friday or Cyber Monday, shopping those deals. Um, so it was discounted $12.90. So in total, I paid $32.96 plus tax for this baby. And I'm very happy with my purchase so far. We'll see. I'm going to document the growth of this because, oh, it's so cute. And I feel like waiting for it to sprout is going to be stressful too. Because I'm going to be like, oh, are you sprouting yet? No? Okay. Now? <laughs> and it's going to, okay. I'm just so excited for that. <sighs> I want to get a really cute pot for this guy. So excited. Okay. So we got that little unboxing out of the way. So cute. It has little instructions here, which is very, very helpful. So yeah, that's for a separate video, but plant number one, my Stefania Erecta, which is also the last plant that I bought. So these are going to be in literally no order because I just have them surrounding me and I just want to make sure to remember all of them. But here, you may have seen that I bought this. This was a wishlist plant. This is my Syngonium Albo. Um, this is its newest leaf that came out since I've had it. And it lives in Lekka. Um, I bought it for $35 at Greenhouse Granada. So I love this plant. And I'm gonna document putting this over in soil too. This leaf's like looking a little crinkly, but I'm like, whatever. It's the oldest, oh, it's not the oldest leaf. It was already kind of crinkly when I got it, so. <laughs> um, but what's worrying me is the color of these roots. These roots look like the color of raw and it's worrying me, but there's also some roots that look like they're growing. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't like having it in this Lekka and I should have moved it sooner. <sighs> I thought I could handle it, but I can't handle it. So plant number two is my beautiful Syngonium Albo, $35. So both of those plants were like around $35 each. As you can see, that's the, that's the price point where I'm like, mm -hmm, I'm going to buy that. Okay. Next, this is, <laughs> this is a really sad looking orchid and I bought a healthy one of these. I think I bought it too long ago to include in this video, um, but I bought it at Green Thumb Nursery. I bought it at the same nursery where I bought the first one. So I have two of these now, but this, I bought it specifically because of the color of these leaves. They're a beautiful silvery color. It's different than other Phalaenopsis orchids and the flowers actually smell like lemony. 
They smell lemony, okay? So, ah. Uh, anyways, it was $3 because it was on clearance because this is how the little flower spike looked. But you guys, it is still a healthy orchid. Look at these healthy, healthy roots. I just watered it last night. Um, it has a new flower spike coming out. And even on the old flower spike, there is a new flower spike coming out. So this was a steal in my opinion. So now I have two of these babies. Maybe I'll get rid of one of them, but I love it so much. I love the leaves. I love Phalaenopsis that have really beautiful flowers and really beautiful leaves because for a lot of the time you have them, their flowers aren't even out. So it's nice to have some nice foliage to look at. All right, next I have another clearance plant. So here is a water plum peperomia. Um, I don't know how much it was on clearance. It was probably around $3. I found this at Walmart and I didn't buy it for the plant. I bought it for the pot, which I would show you guys the pot, but I specifically bought it for the pot, which I have an orchid in right now that I don't want to move because it has um, its flower spikes coming out. And the last time I touched my my orchid with a flower spike coming out, like it messed up the flower, you know, like the, the trail of flower. I don't know how to explain it, but the flowers bend weird. But anyways, I bought it for the pot and I just got this like thinking it was gonna die because it looked awful when I first bought it. Like you can see, this is how it looked. And I wasn't planning on keeping it alive. I was planning on just throwing it away, but <laughs> my green thumb. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, it won't die. It's a watermelon peperomia. I never thought that a watermelon watermelon peperomia would be a plant to live after being put in the clearance section because they're very finicky. But um, I guess I'm going to keep it alive because it's sprouting out new leaves and everything and it looks like it wants to keep surviving. So I have another watermelon peperomia, I guess. And then also what I got from Walmart is this. This is the first time I've ever seen a Mandula pothos out in the wild. And some plants are plants that you want by finding them in person yourself rather than looking for them online. And I feel like a Mandula pothos is one of those plants that you're just like, it's one that you can't buy online. You gotta like find it for yourself in the store. I don't know if you feel that way about certain plants, but for me, this was one of those. So, here we go, Manjula Pothos. This one wasn't on sale clearance. I don't remember how much it was. I feel like it was around $8, which I thought was expensive, but it was a Manjula and I'd never seen one in person before. So I really wanted to get it. And like, it came with this pot. I'm not a huge fan of the pot, but whatever, it's a bonus. <laughs> oh, and then going back to Green Thumb, the Green Thumb I went to, I got this very good string of hearts i know like girl you do not need another string of hearts but it was only 16 dollars i had to get it <laughs> it was only 16 dollars i had to get it um so yeah there we go oh i think there were fungus knots in it it's cute i like that it's becoming a lot more accessible because they're so easy to propagate and they're so beautiful they look like little candies I just like watching them grow so i had to get it <laughs> okay so we've covered all of those oh um i filmed a video at mickey's which is one of my favorite favorite plant shops it's the first plant shop i went to where i was like oh my god this is the best plant shop of all time i fell in love with it as soon as i went to it and i have gotten so many of my plants there like almost Every plant that I was like, this is such a cool plant, I got from Mickey's. I love that shop. It has a special place in my heart, as I'm sure it does for a lot of you if you live in LA. But if you remember, I went, I didn't buy anything. I had to go back a couple days later and make some purchases. Here is my Hoya. Oh my God, not a Hoya. What am I saying? Here is my Syngonium. Syngonium, mackerel, phylum, something like that. Uh, it, it was $40, I believe. I think it was $40. I'll confirm it here somewhere. 
um but i had to go back and get it like i was like oh my god why didn't i get that plant why didn't i get that plant i really wanted that plant so i went back and i got it and as you can see it's a little crispy tips and i forgot to water it so it was drinking up yesterday and i haven't found like a good spot to keep it so i've been keeping it in a west facing window so that's why i forgot to water it because it dries out super super fast so i think i need to keep it somewhere else i need to find a new spot for it so that i'm not i'm not gonna kill it and then also from mickey's i got this ripsalis paradoxa i love it it looks so beautiful this was also another plant where i was like oh, i should have got one you can see it has these tiny little babies like continuing to grow um in the video i didn't know what it was called and there was literally a label on the back <laughs> so i love it so much it is so beautiful i love how it trails i keep it at the west facing window too in my kitchen and it's on something really high so it like trails down the side of the window and it's kind of making the new growth like jut out like that i might have to find a new spot for this too because I don't really like how it's growing like that. I like this like hanging thing. It looks like a braid. It's just so pretty. I didn't want to leave out this plant that I also got at Mickey's. This is my parallel peperomia. I've been looking for one in person for so long because they're so cute. Look how adorable this is. I love it so much and it's the cutest ever. This is like my favorite peperomia probably. I think that's all I got from Mickey's. And then I also filmed a video at, at Armstrong Garden Center in Pasadena. When I was there, they had a ton of these, a ton of these dragon tail. So let me tell you the tail, the tail, the tail of these plants. So I bought one of these online. I don't know how long ago, but I bought one online. And it like back then, I don't know why I felt like it was different back then. It wasn't even that long ago. It was probably like at the beginning of this year. So like, a year ago i guess i don't know why but there was it was called an epipremnum panatum dragon tail and that kind of confused me because an upper an epipremnum panatum is a sebu blue like a sebu blue is an epipremnum panatum a skeleton key is this is an epipremnum panatum and this looks literally nothing like those but if you looked it up if you looked up specifically dragon tail epipremnum panatum then that plant would show up this plant would show up. And then more recently, I started seeing it be being called a Raphidophora decursiva. So I thought they were different plants. And then in my video, I was asking you guys like, what's the difference? I got mixed, mixed things. Sometimes I heard that they're literally the same exact plant. Some sellers just name them differently. And then other people are telling me like, I think they think that I think it's a Cebu blue which I know this is not a Cebu Blue. Um, and then other ones are like, they're gonna look different when they get older because it's still juvenile. And when it matures, they're gonna look different. And it's so confusing because a Raphidophora and an Epipremnum are just completely different. So why would they have such completely different names? Maybe there was a name change like Dracaenas and snake plants. I don't know, I'm so confused still, but I'm starting to think they're the same plant. I think that's mostly what the consensus was, that it's the same plant and <laughs> I've been tricked, I've been hoodwinked. So I specifically bought this plant because I thought it would mature differently than my Epipremnum panatum dragon tail. And apparently this is a rapid forward to curse of a dragon tail, which is the same plant. So now I have multiples of these, <laughs> but that's okay because it's a really pretty plant too but i found that it gives runners like crazy there will be runners that don't put out any leaves so my wrap i think it's up here the one that i bought had a huge runner and i chopped it up into little nodes and i have that propagating and they are growing but it's taking it's growing kind of slowly so this plant is just it just grows so awkwardly and I put it in my cabinet hoping to get it to grow more normally, like not have so many runners. And so far it's doing okay, but we're gonna have to see because the runners are crazy on them. So yeah, that was at Armstrong and this was $19.99, so it was $20 plus tax.
I also went to Plant Nation, which I love Plant Nation. I visited their store when it was in that little like water thing and I bought this bubba. This bebe, this is a Ladisia Discol Discolor Bar Nigrescence and it's a jewel orchid. I really like jewel orchids and collecting them. So I <laughs> so I bought this one to add to my collection because I don't have it and I think it's so pretty. It's doing well so far. It hasn't been long enough for me to kill it. Any well, I guess if I watered it too much, but it has a new sprout coming in. So I think I'm taking care of it fine. I want to make sure for all of these plants that I bought to find a spot for them where, gonna, where they're going to thrive. So that's kind of like I've been moving stuff around trying to get it, get my plants to thrive. And then when I was going on my way to Plant Nation, I stopped at Plantitas, which it was my first time shopping there. That shop is amazing. I love it so much. I can't wait to go back. Um, I bought three plants from their shop. So let me show them to you here. I got this philodendron squamiferum <laughs> and it was $45, which I think is really good. Um, squamiferums look kind of like pedatums. Um, yeah, they kind of look like pedatums, but these ones have like fuzzy red stems and they, they kind of disgust me. They kind of disgust me because they look like caterpillars but it's also kind of cool. So I've been wanting one of these. This was also a wishlist plant. I got a bunch of wishlist plants. So I was so happy to find it. And I think $45 was like a really good price for it. So I had to get it. And I also, I also got this. This is a philodendron pan, panduriform. And this looks a lot like a um, bipenifolium. So it looks very similar to a bipenifolium. But I was looking it up to kind of see what the difference was because they do look very similar. And I think they're gonna like, when this gets bigger and it gets more mature, it's gonna like, you're gonna be able to tell the difference. I think it's gonna be more lobed. I don't know. I don't know 100% until I witness it, but I thought it was cool. It was $15. I've never heard of it before. I've never seen one before. And I liked it as you can see, like, these look similar, like the pedatum, bipenifolium, these types of philodendrons. I like how they look. So I was so excited to find this. Lastly, I got this baby, which is a Dune a Jewel. And I fell in love with the little palm. I don't have any plant like this. It's kind of looks like a sago. It does not look like a sago palm, but it kind of reminds me of a sago palm. I just love how tiny it is. It reminds me of like codex plants. I don't know why, but it has these weird little lumpies in here. And I just think it's so cute. And this second one here kind of has a little thing about to unravel. It kind of reminds me of a fern mixed with a codex plant, so. I really like it. I thought it was so cute. I had to get it and this was $12, which that price also lended its hand to me buying it. <laughs> so I love it so much. It's so cute. Those are all the plants that I bought. And then sometimes I get questions on where I buy in my pots, my pots, cause I have a lot of terracotta pots. And I thought I would just show you guys some of the pots that I recently got. I don't have all of them here at all. Um, but I get my pots mostly from thrift stores, but recently I've been seeing cute ones in store. If they're too expensive, I won't buy them, but I'm like at Plantitas, they have such adorable pots. I really want to go back and buy some pots, <gasps> one for this baby perhaps. <laughs> um, but anyways, so also I told you about how I went to Walmart and I literally bought that discount plant for the pot. Um, so that's another way to get pots, but usually I get them at thrift stores. So I, I found this at a thrift store. I really like it. I've been keeping my squamiferum in here. So I think it looks really cute. It doesn't have a drainage hole, so I've been using it as a cash po. It says it was $3.99, but if you live in, I think, I don't know how far spread out it is, but at least I know in the whole Los Angeles area, they have dollar thursdays so if you buy something a certain color so this was red so when i got it the dollar thursday was for red and i got this pot for a dollar 
And I also found this pot, which is a little cash po. And I think it's so, so cute. I was so excited to find it. This one was $1.99 and it was full price because it's green, but I love it so much. Oh, maybe this. Um, if you find cash pose like this, and if you want to use it as a pot, you can literally drill a hole in it. I have a video on how to do that. If you want to watch, I can link it. It works on glass, terracotta, um, ceramic. So you can pretty much make anything into a drainage pot. So if I have this in here. It doesn't really fit, but I've just been keeping it in there. <laughs> I'm going to try to find a pot to fit in here as a cash pose. And then I also bought this pot which i like the shape i think usually when they're squat like this they're called azalea pots this one has some weird like fuzzy stickers on it i think that something was attached so i'm gonna try to remove that but this one was 3.99 and since it's red it was one dollar for where i live be careful because thrift stores sometimes do price their pots kind of like more expensive than if you were to go buy new terracotta pots from like Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. So you do want to be careful of that. But that is everything. I, <laughs> I hope you guys like this plant haul. I haven't done one in so long. I absolutely love all of my plants that I got. I've been really selective with plants, choosing which ones to buy and bring into my collection because I, I harp on it a lot, but I don't have enough space and I'm still finding spots to put some of these plants. So I've just been really careful with that. Um, let me know some recent plants you've got that you've been loving. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.